Hey, good morning, Tommy down here. Rebecca is always behind the camera. Catalina offshore, it's the holiday season. We call it Christmas at my house. Uh, tuna salad. So a lot of people come in, it's Portuguese tuna salad. So here we go. If it was on an Italian tuna boat, it'd be Italian tuna salad. But I grew up on the Portuguese boats. So we call it Portuguese tuna salad. The great thing about this is that working on a tuna boat, you always had enough tuna to make Portuguese tuna salad. And this was always in the galley. We didn't have a kitchen, we had a galley. And one time San Diego, largest tuna fleet in the world, not a lot of people know that. But this was always in the kitchen or in the galley for you boat people. And we would take a loaf of French bread. We had the little French bread loaves like this, cut them in half hollow them out and we would pack this in the sandwich and roll it up and put it in our pocket and get back out on deck. So we always had something to eat and keep our energy up in case you had a roll up or something like that or you ripped the net and you're going to be, or you had bullets and uh, not like gun control bullets, bullets, little bullet tuners stuck in the net. They'd come out of the water, it looked like a Christmas tree shining and everything. You could see it for miles away. So you wouldn't know. You never know when your next meal would be. It could be two or three days. So I'm not going to give up my whole secret here, but I am going to give you a few main ingredients, okay? Olive oil from specialty produce, because when you're making good stuff, you want to use good stuff. So we're going to throw in some olive oil here, okay? And what I did was I steamed the tuna in a triple rack. You just steam it. Uh, steamed fish is always good. There we go. We're going to mix it up. Okay. And again, I already added some other spices into this. But I'm not going to tell you exactly what those are. Because then I'm going to sell it, and then you'll be making it, and then I'll be out of business. But then you got to buy the tuna from me. Salt, pepper, garlic, granulated garlic, granulated onions. At least you got to buy the tuna for me, but you can do this with yellowtail, all kinds of neat stuff. Red wine vinegar. There was a time not so long ago, I probably would have drank that if I could get a buzz from it. Uh, so we mix this up again. Okay, now you can see it's starting to break apart. It's starting to look really nice. My buddy Sam. The cooking dude guy, Sam, he likes to add red bell peppers to this. Now, then he can call it his tuna salad. Red onions, green onions. We're going to mix it really nice. Get it going. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Starting to come together. You take this on a rustic sourdough with Swiss cheese and you make a grilled Swiss cheese tuna melt with this. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Capers. Hit the bottom. It's easier to take the top off. See that? Drain the water into your bowl. Let's see. You got to drain it because this stuff's real salty. I found that out. You just dump it in there. And gets too salty. You can fry these capers too before you put them in there. Ah. there we go. Fry the capers before you put them in. It's like a gourmet. I don't know. I can't even spell that. There we go. Last jar capers. We're gonna mix it up. And this is the Portuguese tuna salad brought to you by many chefs of San Diego that worked on the US flag tuna boats. Look at that. Doesn't get much better than that, does it folks? Pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Too bad you don't have smell a video on that. All right. Portuguese tuna salad down here, Catalina. Holiday time, come get some. 
If you're not sure how it tastes, ask for a sample. We'll give it to you. Merry Christmas, peace on earth, all that stuff. See you later. Bye.